I am often filled with wonder when I see some men demanding the time of others and those from whom they ask it most indulgent. Both of them fix their eyes on the object of the request for time, neither of them on the time itself, just as if what is asked were nothing, what is given nothing. Men trifle with the most precious thing in the world, but they are blind to it because it is an incorporeal thing, because it does not come beneath the sight of the eyes, and for this reason it is counted a very cheap thing, nay, of almost no value at all. Men set very great store by pensions and doles, and for these they hire out their labour or service or effort, but no one sets a value on time. All use it lavishly as if it cost nothing.